What's up guys, Dr. Jared here, Tone and Titan, and these are 10 of the best exercises that you can do to strengthen and stabilize your ankles. So if your ankles are weak, if they are susceptible to injury, if you suffer from multiple ankle sprains, you're in the right place, these exercises are going to help you out. Now let me tell you who this is not for. If you recently sprained your ankle, meaning if you sprained your ankle within the last about four weeks, I would not start with the exercises in this video. So if you recently sprained your ankle, I would start you in a little bit different place. I've got that video for you. I've linked it in the description down below. I'll also link it at the end of this video. Again, if it's an acute ankle sprain that you're looking to rehab, that's the video that I'd start with. But if your ankle feels good, if you just need more strength, if you just need more stability, if you're an athlete looking to improve the stability in his or her ankle, you are in the right place. That's what these exercises are going to do for you. I hope they help you out. Let's get started. Now, it's crucial that I mention that your ankle is a three-dimensional joint. That means it not only moves up and down, but it can also move side to side and it can rotate as well. It's crucial that we strengthen in each one of those movement planes in order to maximize stability in your ankle. Most of us are pretty strong when it comes to pushing down. We've got our big calf muscle here in the back, but the majority of ankle sprains and ankle problems actually happen laterally. So side to side, we want to be sure to address all of those motions. You're gonna get all of that with this video. Our first four exercises are going to be a four-way progression with an elastic band. Now these are the only exercises with a band. The remaining six exercises, we won't use any equipment. But if you're interested, uh, if you don't have any of these at home, these are super cheap to pick up. I've linked a set down below in my description. So you can check that out and hopefully that helps you out. But what I love to do with this is do a, again, progression of a four-way ankle series. So what we're going to do, we're gonna start with some plantar flexion. What you're gonna do is loop that around your foot. You want it so that the band is right here at the ball of your foot. And then with your hands, we're gonna hold on right up here. So I'm pulling my foot up into this position. And then what I'm going to do is step on the gas to put it down. And then we're going to repeat that. So again, we're just kind of getting the calf warmed up. We're working the calf. We're working the motion in the ankle. And I'm gonna go for about 10 to 15 repetitions of this plantar flex, plantar our flexion motion. Now what we can do, so that was going down, now let's pull up. In order to do that, I'm going to pull just with one hand across my body, so it's around my right foot. I'm gonna pull with my left hand out across my left foot. With my left foot, I'm going to step right on the top of that band so that there's some pressure underneath it. So now there's pressure on the top of my foot, and what I can do now is pull up against that resistance. And so now I'm gonna work these muscles right here on the front of my foot in a motion that is called dorsiflexion as I'm pulling my toes up towards my heel. Again, about 10 repetitions on that one is a good number to shoot for. From here, don't change anything. Now all you're going to do is keep your heel on the ground, but then push the outside of your foot into the band in a lateral motion. So I'm pushing my right foot out to the right. Again, my heel is staying in place. I don't want it to be a hip exercise by doing this. Keep your heel in place, and then you're going to pull with that right foot out in that direction. That is a motion called eversion. We're gonna do 10 repetitions on that one. And then finally, we need to pull in. The easiest way to do that is to hold the band out here to the side and then pull in against that resistance. If that bothers your shoulder, you can anchor that band around a kitchen table or a dresser or a bed, something where you can anchor that into place and then you can pull in in this inversion motion, 10 repetitions in that way. So I do 10 reps down, 10 up, 10 out, and then 10 in, and then repeat that three times. The next three exercises are going to deal with static balance. That means standing, stabilizing, and balancing with no motion occurring at your ankle. But then our last three exercises are gonna be a little more challenging dynamic balance exercises where we're going to be actually moving the ankle while we're strengthening, while we're stabilizing. So this is what they look like. What you're going to do, stand on the affected ankle or the ankle that you're trying to strengthen. And I mean, in and of itself, you can feel those muscles working, right? You can feel kind of your foot moving around, your ankle stabilizing, just standing on one foot but you can make it a little more harder. You can make it a little more dynamic as follows. We're gonna add some reaches. So the first thing I like to do is go forward and back. And so what we're going to do is tilt our torso forward as far as you can comfortably, and then go backwards as far as you can comfortably. That was one. And now let's get into number two, 
forward and back. So just a soft bend at your knee, but what you're going to feel with this is that your ankle has to work even harder to stabilize during these dynamic motions. I tell people, let's go 10 times forward and back, and then we'll get into side to side. This one's even a little more difficult. And so now what I'm going to do is lean over as far as I can to the side of your leg, and then you're going to lean over as far as you can away from your leg. So that was one, and then over and back, that's two. Same thing on this. I usually shoot for 10 repetitions. You're gonna feel this one basically from your foot all the way up to your hip as you go side to side. 10, 10 repetitions on that one. And then finally, let's get into some rotation. Now on this one, I don't want you to rotate too much. If you have any knee pain or meniscus pain, this can be kind of aggravating to that. But all I need you to do is turn about 30 degrees, so like rotate your body about 30 degrees to one side, and then about 30 degrees to the other side, trying to maintain your balance just on one foot as you do that. So try to pivot at your hip, your knee can stay pointing forward, that's gonna again decrease the torque on your knee, but what I want you to do is again, just try to stabilize on that ankle, try to initiate that motion from that ankle as we go side to side or kind of rotate 30 degrees, 30 degrees, 10 times. And so then what I would do is repeat that series two more times, forward and back, side to side, and then the rotation one, three sets of 10 in each direction. And that is a fantastic series of exercises, but we can do one better. And again, these are going to be the dynamic exercises with the dynamic challenges to it. I've taped a big X down here on my floor just so you can kind of get a better visualization for what these look like. Uh, don't feel like you have to do that, but hopefully that helps you to see kind of what I'm doing. I'm gonna stand right on the center of the X. I'm gonna give my left ankle a break. Let's work on this right one. I'm gonna stand on my right side, and now what I wanna do is reach forward and back, but we're gonna allow a little motion at that ankle to occur. So I kinda of get down into this maybe kind of quarter squat position as I reach forward with my opposite foot as far as I can go, and then I'm going to do the same thing backwards. And so you'll see that it's very similar to that series that we just got done doing, but what I'm doing now is allowing a little more motion to occur at my ankle. Again, just another great way that we can take that strengthening up to the next level. 10 reps forward and back. Now let's get into the side to side motions. For this one, I'm going to lean away from it and then I'm going to slide my foot out to the side as far as I can comfortably and then return that right back down to the, to the starting position. And again, I'm bending in my knee kind of like a lateral lunge, but I'm not letting that opposite leg touch down as I go through that motion. And about 10 repetitions there, that is getting tired. Are you guys, are you doing it with me? Are you feeling that? Okay. And so we've gone forward back, we've gone side to side. The last thing that we need to do is a rotation. To do this dynamically, what I wanna do is take my left leg out to the side. So I'm gonna turn my body, lift my left toes up towards the ceiling so it looks just about like that. And then I'm gonna swing it across my body and then do the same thing in this direction right here. So again, taking my toes to the, to the left and then taking my toes to the right and then we're just gonna swing back and forth 10 times and you're really going to feel those muscles on the side of your ankle as they rotate and as they support while you're doing that exercise. Three sets of 10 on each one of those directions is a great number to shoot for. So I hope that helps you out. Again, if you have an acute ankle sprain, let me link to it. I'm gonna drop it in right here. For some reason, YouTube thinks that you might like this video right here, so check that out. See if YouTube's right. If you haven't subscribed to Tone and Titan, the circle right here will help you to do that. And I hope to see you again soon right here on Tone and Titan.